I like this new camera. <laughs> hey guys, it is Thursday here on Daily Grace, and you know what that means. Daily Grace is gonna teach you how to do something. I'm wearing men's deodorant today. So guys, it's a brand new season of CBS's The Bachelorette, and anyone who's got a vagina and is super emotionally unstable is watching it. So today I thought I would teach you guys how to watch The Bachelorette. To be honest, I haven't watched the newest season. I know. But that doesn't mean I haven't figured out how to watch a show like The Bachelorette. For all of you that don't know what The Bachelorette is, God bless you. It's a show where they take one single woman, a bachelorette, and bring on a shit ton of human Ken dolls to compete for her love. And then they get engaged. <laughs> no joke! The first step for watching The Bachelorette is wine. I suggest using a stemless wine glass, because sometimes we bitches get really emotionally upset during the show might flail our bodies around and then a uh, London wine glass goes falling down and breaks. Perfect. Make sure you pour and start enjoying your wine a half hour to an hour before the program so that you have a nice, elegant buzz going on once it begins. Let me drink more wine. It's like lady juice. Oh no, it's not. Then about 15 to 20 minutes before it begins, you want to start making your predictions. I bet she wears a strapless dress. I bet she doesn't give the rose to the one with the jaw. The crazy jaw. I wonder if they'll go jet skiing. I bet they show her eating one piece of fruit. I say three shots of her in a white fluffy robe. There's gonna be tears. Next thing you wanna do is exercise your face because you're gonna be making a lot of facial expressions during the show. Expressions like this. Oh my God. No. Really? Oh. Oh my God. No. Really? No. No. Really? Him. So make sure you stretch your muscles good and good. Next what you want to do is get some flowers so you feel like you're living vicariously through that pretty shallow woman. They're dying. That's symbolism at its best. Maybe some more wine. Who needs to wear lipstick when you have red wine? No one. This went in the same place that the bachelorette's uh, sense of self-worth went. Away. She always ends up kissing dudes back to back to back to back. Are they sponsored by Valtrex? Cause they should be. Then when it starts, make sure that you have all your best girlfriends around you and make sure you're all like wearing pajamas cause that's so ironic. There are girls to be hanging out wearing pajamas but your hair and makeup probably totally done. <sighs> then make sure you have like a hummus platter, a bowl of popcorn, and a fruit tray even though none of you are gonna eat it. Make sure everyone has wine. Oh no, the flower just fell. Oh no. Don't forget to wear waterproof mascara cause bitches, you're gonna cry. Then maybe make some scandalous drinking games out of it while you watch the show. Drink every time she cries. Drink every time they show her walking towards the camera or away from the camera. Drink every time she has a glass of champagne. Drink every time she says, I think I'm really feeling something for him. Drink any time one of the dudes says she's really hot. Drink any time a dude has a shirt off. Drink every time you see a sweet, sweet blazer. Drink every time you see strawberries. Drink any time you have a suspicion that all the dudes like to get together and circle jerk before the night ends. Oh, drink every time you spill wine on your pants. Drink every time you believe they'll end up happily ever after. Or that they'll get divorced in a month. Then just enjoy the ride, cause The Bachelorette is the best night of your lives, girls. <sighs> I hope I'm not allergic to this. Bye! She always ends up, she always ends up, she always ends up. Whoa. Okay. Extended stutter.